In the game Race to Win, you need five different colors of construction paper, all cut to the same length. One of them you will keep whole, one of them in, you cut into half, one cut into fourths, one into eighths, and the last one into sixteenths. Now, of course, this is not something you need to do. This is something you can have the students do, and there's a lot of learning that happens as you do that. The other thing you need is a wooden cube that you will write a half, a fourth, a sixteenth, and an eighth with an extra sixteenth and an extra eighth on one of the sides. So once all the pieces are cut, the game is you roll whatever fractional amount you roll is what you place onto your game board. And then the next player's turn, and then when it's back to my turn, you get to place that amount. And the goal is to be the first one to get your game board filled, or all the way to one. Now, as you're playing this game, there's really not much that kids are actually learning except recognizing the fraction and picking which strip is that fractional amount and placing it on here. They're not doing any addition whatsoever. Uh, at the end, you could have them try to add this all up, but the kids who actually get to one just already know that it's one, so they don't have to do a whole lot. So instead, one of the things I like to do with this game is basically this is a concrete version of an activity. Kids are physically working hands-on putting stuff on there. I'm a, a big believer in trying to incorporate all three parts of concrete, representational, and abstract all in one. So if this is our concrete, I'm going to have a tape diagram, also known as a bar model, uh, as my representational. And as I'm going along, I'm going to have the kids draw a representation of what is happening on their game board right on their tape diagram. So in this case, I would need to put a 16th on there. Now instantly, I have to figure out approximately where a 16th is. The idea is not to have them actually cut this into 16ths, but to do a little bit of estimation and visualization to figure out about where that would be. And here's my abstract where I'm attaching the symbols to the representation. Well, I get a fourth. And now becomes the part when they are going to have to figure out how to add because they have to figure out approximately where they are along their game board now. So I have, I have a sixteenth and I have a fourth, but how far am I? Now, for most of our kiddos, they're going to be at a spot where they don't actually know the algorithm yet for doing this. So the goal is to help them learn the algorithm by using their manipulatives. If I have a sixteenth and then a fourth, they can use their manipulatives to figure out how far along their game board they are by attaching the strips on there. And they see that one fourth is the same as having four sixteenths, and they are now five sixteenths along the path. And then the game continues until someone reaches one. But the real power happens when the kids have to do the concrete. the representation and helping them figure out along the way this idea of common denominators. And how that really means just having the same sized pieces when we add and subtract.